So did Rabbi Avi Weiss invent women saying Kaddish? Now the Kaddish is the memorial prayer for the dead, traditionally said only by men. Now on left-wing modern orthodox shores, women will say Kaddish publicly, while in right-wing modern orthodox shores, usually women do not say this prayer publicly. So I've been listening to a Torah in Motion recording of Rabbi Mark B. Shapiro lecture on Rabbi Eliezer Berkowitz, a leading Jewish philosopher from the left wing of Orthodox Judaism in the last uh, 50 years of the past century. And uh, Mark Shapiro lists off various famous rabbis who permitted women to say Kaddish, including Rabbi Joseph Beer Soloveitchik, Aaron Soloveitchik, Moshe Feinstein, Yosef Eliyahu Henkin, Rabbi Chaim Ozeir Grzynski, and Rabbi Avadya Yosef. So it's a uh, it's been a tradition for a century or two now in some parts of Orthodox Judaism. So Mark Shapiro, he's my favorite Jewish scholar. Like he applies academic principles of scholarship to modern Jewish thought over the past 300 years. And he's been profi profiling all these great rabbis in these Torah in Motion lectures. And uh, Eliezer Berkowitz came from Germany. Uh, he was at the Berlin Rabbinical Seminary, the, probably the most prestigious rabbinic ordination around in Western Europe. He also got his PhD in philosophy at the University of Berlin. And uh, he was a great student of Rabbi Yechiel Yaakov Weinberg. And uh, they remained close throughout their lives. Rabbi Weinberg died around 1965. Rabbi Berkowitz died around 1992, and his first important book was Judaism, colon, Fossil of Ferment. It's a reply to the British historian Arnold Toynbee, who uh, basically thought that Judaism had ended, for all intents and purposes, 2,000 years ago, and uh, with the birth of Christianity. Now it's Arnold Toynbee who's the fossil, not Judaism, and not the thinking of Eliezer Berkowitz. So Berkowitz's thoughts on Jewish law didn't have much success, but his theology was hugely successful.